Hi, and thanks for watching this presentation on parallel computing in R. My name is Theodore Van Rui, and I work with Royalty Consulting. You can email me at theodore.vanrui at gmail.com with any questions that you may have. So the question these days, why waste computing cycles? I think we can either spend a lot of time making our code faster with C or C++, or we can just export and parallelize the code to cheap commodity hardware and run it in parallel. CPUs and GPUs are both multi-core these days. CPUs use up to about eight cores per chip, and GPUs can do hundreds of cores per chip. Uh, CPUs have a little bit higher memory and higher precision. They're much easier to write code for. But GPUs have so many cores on them that uh, when you make the code investment, you can often get a great speed up. R can use both types of parallelization. Uh, the Snow package will create socket clusters or OpenMPI clusters, and RGPU and other packages can do GPU computing. Uh, Linux is a great place to start with parallel computing. Uh, you can use OpenMPI and passwordless SSH for multiple boxes, or you can just do a socket cluster on one box. Slurm and Ganglia and Webmin and many other packages exist to make uh, Linux cluster computing easy. Basically, the way it works is we start with one R master node. Using Snow, we launch n slaves. We prepare those slaves with data and other functions. And then we use the Snow load balance par parallelization functions to crunch and return the numbers until we get the whole data set computed and then return it to the R master node. Let's take a look at this uh, get data function. This function will take an ID for a Facebook page get it with rcurl and then parse it with rjson. Do some other parsing and then return the data back. The helper functions we've written here will prepare the slave with uh, the rcurl and rjson libraries and then uh, the get data try function will wrap up the get data in error catching code. Now if we want to actually run the code we simply read in the page IDs we can use the lapply function to test out the get data try function to make sure it works right. Make cluster will launch a new cluster of size 8. We can export the get data, get data try, and other functions. And then we can call the prepare slave functions. Finally, we can use the load balance cluster apply to process each of the IDs in the list with the get data try functionality. Eventually, the stop cluster will close out the cluster. Now, debugging in R is often very difficult. You don't get a lot of output, so I suggest using lapply to uh, debug your code starting off. After that, most errors come from not having the correct slave environment. And again, it's hard to tell because you don't get a lot of feedback. Using rprof, it's a good idea to profile your code and then to just be smart about what data you're exporting. Network traffic can accumulate and be a big overhead, but uh, you can do that smart. Also, you have to be careful about your system resources with memory. Uh, so let's take a look at GPU computing. Uh, here we actually need an, NV an NVIDIA GPU card. We need the NVIDIA toolkit, development drivers, the SDK, a lot of patience and perseverance. And importantly, we need a bootable version of Linux, not just a virtual machine. Uh, the Video cards do not work properly in virtual machines. Uh, although GPU processing is parallel, it really works best for uh, big matrix operations and functions that already exist. Getting new problems in there will require you to code your own uh, CUDA functions in C. So this simple example, our GPU devices will list out which devices are available for computing and uh, mean GPU will compute the mean on a large vector and here it returns actually really quickly. So we can expand up to about 80 cores. Uh, that's how much I've done and it worked great. I'm sure you can go beyond that. The main problem is debugging in parallel. It's really hard to do. I suggest uh, implementing some custom error reporting with Snow. A couple packages related to uh, 
parallel processing are uh, the new parallel package in R2.14. You can use Cloud RMPI and several other packages to um, enhance your parallel processing. Thanks for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it and you get good use out of this.